Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today Jeannie Young is gonna show you all how to make a really nice, refreshing pink lemonade. It's about that time guys, it's about that time. The weather's starting to get nice. Everybody's starting to have cookouts. You got birthdays around the corner. You know, you want to be sitting outside and you want to have something nice and refreshing. This pink lemonade is absolutely delicious. And I'm so excited to be able to show you all how I make my pink lemonade. Here's what you'll need. Okay, everybody. First thing that you want to do is make sure that your lemons are washed as well as your fresh strawberries. I went out to the market today and got some really nice fresh strawberries and that's what we're gonna use. But we need to chop off the greens and we need to slice them and we're gonna do something special with these strawberries. Let me grab a paring knife. Okay, got my paring knife. You wanna slice off the tops and discard of them. All right, we're gonna slice these you know, in half, just like that. Today is Monday, and I hope that you all are having a great day today. Hope that you all are having a great week this week. Have you all seen my video for my birthday? On the 4th, I celebrated my birthday, and I really enjoy myself, and honestly, like sometimes you need to take some time off and relax and that's what my birthday was all about i had fun time with my family most of all i relaxed <laughs> absolutely i did and i'm going to show you all how you can relax with this beautiful drink here this drink is absolutely amazing and it's so fresh it's so fresh and tasty now, it's really up to your discretion whether you want to use uh, what kind of sugar or sweetener you would like to use. If you wanted to use Splenda, absolutely you can, you know? And if you wanted to use, let me bring my camera down a little bit more. If you wanted to use something like Splenda, you can. If you wanted to use agave nectar or honey, whatever you'd like to use to sweeten, you can Okay, now there are some people that like to just use other fruits for sweetening, but I need it, yeah, I need mine to be a little bit more sweeter than that. Even though we're gonna put strawberries in and they're nice and sweet, you still wanna have some type of sweetness, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make this. Now there's a lot of people out there, when they make their drinks, they take their sugar and they make a simple syrup by dissolving their sugar into boiling water. I'm not gonna do that today. And actually, you don't have to. You don't have to make it a simple syrup in order for your sugar to dissolve. The sugar will dissolve just as well when you mix it in. Just take your time to mix it. Okay, now that we have our beautiful strawberries nice and sliced up, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with those. Make sure that you wash these strawberries off, okay? This one here, I have to eat that one. Look at that, nice and red on the inside. Mm, mm-hmm, mm. When it's that deep red in the inside, you know it's gonna be sweet. But when it's really white, this way it's gonna be sour. <laughs> those of you that didn't know that. So the ingredients that you will need you will need, of course, strawberries. You will need sugar and water. And also you will need fresh lemon, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're going to slice our lemons just like so in this manner, okay? We're gonna get us some fresh lemon juice. I don't suggest using, you know, when you make a fresh lemonade, you want fresh lemon juice. You know, I really don't suggest using the lemon juice from the bottle. But for some reason, if you just can't find fresh lemons or you can't get a hold of them, it's okay. It's okay to use bottled lemon juice, all right? No worries. Everything that I make in this kitchen is very easy, a lot of fun to make, and trust me, it tastes so good. All right, we're gonna enjoy this pink lemonade 
outside this evening. We're going to sit in the garage and turn a little bit of old school music on. Absolutely we are. We'll do that this evening because it's very nice outside. The weather is around about 81 degrees. And after I'm done doing videos, we're going to take our speaker to the garage and just kind of chill out. Enjoy the weather and sip on some nice pink lemonade. Absolutely we are. So now what I'm going to do, I want to juice the lemons to get the fresh, 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 fresh juice. Now me personally, when I make a juice like this, I don't mind the pulp at all. Okay, some people say, oh, no, drain it. I don't like the pulp, but I feel like the pulp is more nutritious. I don't mind. I don't mind digesting the pulp, but I will assure that my I take the seeds out. Okay. We're going to do all of these lemons to get all of this beautiful juice here. So we have six lemons here. We're gonna get all this beautiful juice out, just like that. Very easy, use a little bit of elbow grease, guys. You can do it, absolutely. And you see what I'm left with? Just like that, okay? What are some of the things that you all did this weekend? Anything special? And what is your weather like where you all are at? Is it starting to get nice out? I am absolutely loving the weather right now. I'm ready to go swimming. <laughs> you all that know me, you know, like I'm a water baby. I love the water. Anytime I get a chance, I went swimming at the hotel and it was just so nice. The pool was heated. It was really nice. See this? Just like this, get that beautiful lemon juice out of there. I'm going to continue to get the lemon juice out of each one of these and then I'll do the others off camera and then I'll come back. I'm going to show you all how to make some of the best pink lemonade you've ever had. Okay everyone, you can see that I have my lemon juice. The amount of lemon juice that I've developed is one cup, one and three-fourths cup just about two cups we're going to use every bit of it we're not going to waste it we're not going to waste it that's perfect now what you want to do is take your seeds out i took out as much seeds as i could get out but since i poured it in here i can see um three more seeds in there hey just skim them off take them out no problem we're not rushing in this kitchen all right so we'll remember to take the seeds out what we're going to do now is we're going to take these beautiful strawberries and we're going to put them here right into this little Hamilton Beach blender that I have. Whoops! And we're going to blend these up just like so. We might have to do two batches. Okay, let's see. I wonder if I can fit them all in there. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it can't hurt us anything, right? If we got too many in there, we'll just take some out. No problem there. No worries in this kitchen. Make them fit. I'll eat that one. Mmm. Mmm. Mm hmm Ooh, wait, that bad boy was good. You know, when the weather starts to get nice, honestly, I start to crave, you know, things like fresh fruit, you know, homemade lemonade. My dad used to make something called, what What was the name of it? Iced, is it called? No, 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 no. It's called sun tea. Where he would take and make some iced tea, fresh iced tea, but you would steep it outside, you know, on your back porch, your deck or wherever. But what you do is you let that sun you let that sun beam down on that beautiful iced tea and it makes for the best. It makes for the best iced tea. If y'all never had that before, you better make you some. Absolutely you should. But like I said, during these, when it starts getting nice, I want stuff like this. I'm gonna pause this a few times, okay? I might need to 
put a little bit of water in to get it going. I think I'm going to do just that. All right. Just a little bit will do me. Because sometimes it won't blend right up. You know, you need a little bit, a little push to it, which is just fine. If you wanted to use a cranberry juice or apple juice, whatever you have, you can use that to help blend this up. Let's get it going. Okay, everybody, I was trying to figure out how come my blender wasn't working, but I just didn't have it locked in in order for it to work correctly. Now that I have it locked in, and what you want to do is blend it up nice blend it up nice get it nice and fine because if you're that person like me if you're like the person like me that doesn't want to strain this then you want to blend it up as much as you can okay if you're going to strain it you would literally just take a strainer okay you would pour this into the strainer and you would be left with this pulp and the beautiful strawberry juices will come out, you know, underneath the strainer, and you can use that. But me personally, I want all this goodness. I'm not straining anything. So let's get it nice and pureed. <laughs> just perfectly I cannot wait to show you what this looks like down inside Ooh -wee. boy my mouth is watering look at this look at this beautiful goodness this right here is antioxidants for sure here's what you do check this out guys pour it right on into your pitcher you see that that right there is love if you never had it before pureed beautiful fresh strawberries absolutely that right there i have to taste it oh so delicious absolutely it is so then we can bring this now that right there is actually what's going to make our beautiful color that we all love when we see pink lemonade now some people they they like to do something like They'll use a cranberry juice or some type of juice that has that color. And they'll say, hey, look, pink lemonade, <laughs> you know, but this is how I like to do mine. And I find when I do it like this, I'm always happy with the flavor. The flavor is amazing when you mix lemon and strawberry together. I'm going to get these seeds out and I'll be right back. Okay, everyone, we have our seeds out. Go ahead and put your lemon juice right on in there as well. Beautiful. All right, next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to measure out. I always like to start out with two cups of sugar. Two cups might seem like a lot, but if you want it to taste good, hey, it's really up to your discretion. You put as much sugar as you want to do. If you're unsure about how much sugar you would like to use, then what you do is you start out with a little bit. You taste it, okay? Put a little bit more in. You taste it. When you're happy, you stop. Okay, and really it's that simple. Let me grab my measuring cup so I can measure my sugar. We have one cup going in, just like so. Oh yeah. Now right now my taste buds are jumping up and down doing somersaults, waiting just to put this pink lemonade on top of the ice and enjoy. Second cup and then we're gonna give it a nice whirl. Okay. Stir it up. Okay. And you'll know when your sugar is dissolved, okay? It's almost like making Kool-Aid. It'll start to sound a little bit more silent than what it is now. The 
but trust me, it'll dissolve. You don't have to make a simple syrup, you know, by boiling the sugar and water. You do it just this way, just as if you were making Kool-Aid, okay? And I have some ice cold, ice cold water in the refrigerator that we're gonna pour right on top of here. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. Getting more silent as we go. Okay, everyone, our sugar is nice and silent. Okay, we've mixed it in. Now what you wanna do, I have some cold water that I had in the refrigerator. I made some fresh cold water for this. And we're gonna put that in, in this manner, just like so. Ooh, look at that color, my goodness. What a pretty color, beautiful color, absolutely. I think that's about, let's see, a little bit more because I wanna put some ice in here. Beautiful. We're gonna go in, we're gonna stir it up, and naturally, you're gonna see a little bit of foam, and that just comes from the citrus, mixing with the acids in the strawberries okay but that'll die down no worries give it a nice stir beautiful then let me grab my ice let me show you this here now uh, we bought this from walmart this here is the section where you'll put your ice you can actually put fruit down in here if you want it to just for a beautiful presentation but i'm going to go ahead and put ice down in there, okay? So we're gonna do just that. Let me grab my ice. Okay, everybody, what I like to do, let's go ahead and we wanna put two or three of your lemon slices. The reason why I like to do that, and make sure the seeds are out, is because it gives you a great presentation, as well as inside of that rind, there is essential lemon, what do you call it, lemon oil? Okay, I'm gonna pour a little bit of that out, all right? We filled him to the brim. He's all ready, right? <laughs> I'm actually gonna give this a taste. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mm-mm. My goodness. Mmm, mm-hmm, mmm, mmm-hmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm-mm. Very, very, very refreshing. My goodness. My, the thing that belongs down in here that I just put in here, my ice cubes are too big. So what I did was I popped just a few ice cubes down in here. So now I know, next time I use that, I need to use um, a crushed ice. You know, or I can go and get bagged ice that has smaller pieces, and then I'll be able to use that middle piece. But that's okay, no problem. This right here is how Jeannie Young makes pink lemonade. You should definitely try it, especially everybody starting to, you know, go on picnics and go to the park. Take you some Jeannie Young's pink lemonade. Everybody will love you for it. You hear me? <laughs> they will. It's so good. Let me grab a cup, and I'll actually want to taste it out of my cup. Here we go. This is more like it instead of the measuring cup. My goodness, look at this. Look how beautiful. That'll be my thumbnail picture. <laughs> look at this. You all can taste it as well. Let me know what you think in the description below. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. I can't wait to drink this. My goodness. Mmm. 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 Here's the thing, this is so refreshing. Mm, mm -hmm. This is better than any concentrated drink that you can make. This is better than any Kool-Aid you can think of 
This right here is pink lemonade. God bless. Good night.